Well, it's time to do another video. I got Florida Rob. He's unloading his stuff. We're out here at uh, Splash Park. We're going to hit it here in Daytona. Don't know if there's going to be much of it out there or not, but they got the uh, the traffic lanes closed, so we're going to have to wait it out until we can uh, actually drive on the beach. So anyway, we're going to get ready and uh, hit the beach. So stay tuned. Uh All right, got the man core fired up, ground balance, noise cancel, and we're ready to rock and roll. Stay tuned. Well, I do have a target here. We're going to uh, check it out and see where it's at. Where'd it go? There it is. 53. I don't know. You got it to scoot. What you got, man? Looks like a piece of iron. Didn't sound like iron to me. I don't know. Let's wash it out and see what it looks like. Let this wave come through. Sure, that's it, right? Well, no, not, not exactly. That's the first thing I've seen. Some more pieces of uh, piece of trash. It looks like. Piece of trash. Thought I got that bobble solved. Let's move it up here on the beach and listen to the like it's a non-fair target, but obviously it does, it's not. Alright. Well, I got a target here. It's reading it just right on top of the ground. Right on top of the sand. I see a penny. Alright, first corner of the day. And I do believe it's going to be a copper penny, is that? Cool. Alright, we'll take it anyway. Got this little piece here. It was a surface line, but it is some type of a little charm. A little moon. And I think that's a chain that's all balled it up, and I did break it. Yeah, it was a little chain. Oh well. Shiny. I think it's, it looks like it's going to be uh, got a quarter maybe. Let's see what the water does to it. Come on, reveal. Yeah, there you go. Alright, 
right. Yeah, I want to tell you up there in the, uh, the dry sand, the dune cut, I think we got 14 or 15 memorial pennies. Finally got one wheat penny out of it. Now back last year during the storms, I pulled some silver out of that same spot, so I thought I'd go back and look at it. Here, beyond it, hard rock. Pretty full to be a, uh, I think it's a Monday. I'm gonna try and work my way up that way. They're pulling out some old uh, concrete. Until I get up there, I'm just going to move right here to the beach a little bit in the water. Stand by. Okay, I pulled up another target right here. The water's going to come up and I'm going to wash away, see if we reveal it. You want to listen to it, Rob? Where is it? In the pile. Right here. I think it's just a penny. Yeah, I got a penny. There it is. All right. That's cool. Stay there, stay there. Whoops. That was a deep one, too. Well, at least the water comes up and fills the hole back up. We'll have to do all that. All right, stand by. Hey, Rob, got water. Actually, it's a it's wheel weight. I imagine somebody's using it for a fishing weight, though. up here behind the seawall where it got washed out back during the storm last year and I knew there had to be some good stuff up in here I have gotten uh, maybe 18 uh, memorial pennies uh, two wheat pennies and I just pulled this nice murk up Let's get in the sun where you see it there you go silver been a long time since I found a piece of silver yeah, I guess it's back last November. All right, might be some more out here. Well, it's another short hunt today. Uh, me and Florida Rob went out to the uh, Splash Park there in Daytona and, and fished around a little bit, see if we could find anything that might have come up on the surf. Still a little early in the season for a lot of drops, but 
love to get out and still try to find stuff anyways. This is what I ended up finding. I uh, didn't really find that much out in the surf. I did find this piece right here, which you can see it's got something sticking out of it. I'll end up busting it up and seeing what it is, but I don't think it's really anything. And another little piece right here also had, uh, uh, that might be a bullet that's sticking out of it. I don't know. I'm going to bust it out and see. I uh, did pick up a little piece of a jewelry of some type. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out or not, but it has got a little like a little half moon sticking out of it there. Yep, that's a pretty good little. And it was, did have a little chain wrapped up in it too, but the surface balled it up and it's probably been there a pretty good while. Uh, moved on up in the dry sand behind one of the busted up seawalls and ended up picking up several memorial pennies. I think that quarter came off the beach. A couple other pennies was probably in the beach, but the good part about it was I did uh, I did recover three wheat pennies and one Canadian penny, and the prize of the day, of course, was that mercury that I found. That was unexpected, but the reason I wanted to go up there back there in the October November of last year's storms, I dug several silvers up out of that bank, so I thought, well, maybe I missed one. Sure enough. Got one, one more out of there. So that was that was pretty good to go back to it. All right, I appreciate everybody watching the videos. Hope you'll subscribe and uh, and hit the not notification bell. And I want to give another shout out to Ancient City Metal Detectors up in St. Augustine. David White has been real good to me and uh, fixed me up with uh, the new Manicore, and I really appreciate it. So if you have any detector needs, give David a call up there at. Uh, and uh, he'll see what he can do to help you. All right, this is Jimmy Crossbones, and I'm out of here.